Script syncing is one of my favorite aspects of Avid, and I'm gonna take you through how the process works. You would get a Word document and you would convert it over to a plain text file, and then you'd bring it into Avid, and once you have it in there, you can pull this up, and you have all that text there. Well, you can highlight it, highlight it all the way down to the bottom, and then you bring over your interview clip. Sometimes you need to group it if you have external audio. So it's in a group form right now, and then you highlight that as well, send it through the script sync, And then it will look through the audio files and match it to all the dialogue written out here, which is great for long form editing, especially when you're dealing with a lot of interviews. You can have a script written up and then just search for the terms that you need and you can go right to that clip and plug it into your main timeline. All right, once it's done syncing up, you can just find any kind of dialogue that you need for the interview to lay in. Let's say I want to click here. But I want to jump around and go to this set of dialogue. It'll jump the timeline there, as you see. So after getting the court order, we received a lot of data. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty good. Uh, uh, I absolutely enjoy it. But there's a technique that my buddy Ian showed me he's our lead assistant editor for the company and he's he's a genius when it comes to avid so but he showed me this trick a long time ago and it absolutely just blew my mind so you go into the original file and you'd highlight it all and drag it over to midway if you're on word and it kind of tightens it up into one column and then you go save as plain text file save and then insert break lines so okay and then you go and bring that script in and check that out, you see how much tighter that is. So I would go through and highlight all that. I'll highlight all that. I'll highlight all this. So I'll go through and highlight that again. And then run the clip through the script sync process again. Only this time it'll be much more accurate to very specific points of dialogue. So say if I had a long sentence, instead of clicking on the main line, like in the previous size, and then kind of like scrubbing through and looking for that specific point that I wanted to start with, since it's a much more narrow point, the, uh, the actual sync points for each line of text is broken up a lot more so you can, you can land on the part that you need a lot quicker. Usually within, you have like a two, one two second buffer on like the, the head or the tail of the clip for what you're looking for. And even on, like you can tell on the markers here, it's a lot cleaner to look at too. And so I wanted to say jump way down. I need a clip from this long paragraph. Usually there would be a lot less check marks in a paragraph this size because it's much wider. But now I can go here and say, hey, I want to I want diligently. You know, just dig diligently working along. Bam. I want so well together. And we merge so well together and we work. So it's a lot tighter. It's a couple of extra steps in the front end, but on the tail end, it'll be a lot easier. And then once you hand off this project to the editor, it'll be a lot cleaner for them to work with. And that's the key. You want to keep your job. You want to make the guy ahead of you's job a lot easier. And if you want to advance, same thing, they'll put in recommendations. That, I mean, that's pretty much it for script syncing. I hope you enjoyed it.